the rainbow. What you doing? The rainbow. What you doing? So you need to say hi to everyone. Hi everyone. Aww, cutie. So hey, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, folks. Look at Zoe in her cute little toddler pajamas. Zoe, you look like a little model. You want to pose for the picture? Show me how you take a picture. Pose. Oh, she's focused on her hair. Guys. <laughs> Focus, I will. She's Focus, like a, I will. <laughs> she's like a baby Yoda. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day in the life of us being quarantined. What's going on, Benji? What's going on? What's going on? Benji needs a haircut. Benji needs a haircut. Look at my rug. Look. This rug gets vacuumed almost daily. And it doesn't matter. Because as soon as you vacuum it, this dog just sheds. I guess it's the season. Um... It's just a season right now where they're shedding all their winter coats. <laughs> I don't think of Benji to have much of a winter coat just because he's inside and he doesn't go out for like long, long winter walks or anything like that. But you know, it doesn't matter. That's not, well, I guess how, that's, huh? Look how hairy he is. Yeah, <laughs> he's pretty hairy right he's now. He's really hairy, huh? Poor guy. So, technically I should go and eat something right now because I woke up this morning and I laid in bed and I just felt slightly nauseous. I felt the nausea just, it wasn't very, it wasn't very intensive. It was just like level one nausea. I want to say it's the fir first signs of pregnancy, but there was something else and I just can't, <laughs> I feel like pregnancy brain already kicked in, but there was, oh, the peeing, the frequent urination thing. That is already a thing. So... I already have multiple symptoms of pregnancy. So anyways, I'm inside here in our garage, ready to access all these boxes. So when they first arrived at the house, I disinfected them, sprayed them down. You can see, like, look at Sephora. It's literally stripped because we sprayed it with bleach agent. And I actually wiped it with Clorox wipes. I think they've been quarantined for long enough, right babes? These packages have been quarantined for a long time now. Yeah. yeah. So I'm in here because there's like a birthday gift that was in here that Michaela got. This book that she wanted. Uh, <coughs> oh man. Um, what is this? There are some things. I think my lotion is here. So I don't know if I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I'm a supper. I'm a supper. I'm a sufferer of KP, which is called keratotis pilaris. And what it does is like sometimes they make your skin feel rough and bumpy and it's annoying. It's a really annoying thing to have to deal with. But you, you know, there are certain things that you want to do to help take care of it. But I find that those things still don't help get rid of it. So I actually went back to something that I did in the past. Um, I got what do you call it i went back to purchasing some lactic some products with lactic acids you can use it to help repair the help um smooth I out my you, skin I from the cape i love you baby smooth out my skin from the kp because it is just such a frustrating thing to to have i love you, I love you baby so there are some products there's some products here. I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of the products in a second. Guess who gets their get birthday gifts? Yay! Yay! There you Thank go. You. <laughs> she couldn't get that because when we when we ordered it, it was in quarantine and we were being super cautious. So um, even though we disinfected things, we just try to make sure we don't use it right away and sometimes put it down. But I've got another gift. I feel like the delivery person. Ooh! I've got a special gift for someone. Surprise! Oh, hey! Thank you very much! Really? That's the reaction you I'm, have? Here you go. Let's do it again. Okay. Okay. Take two. I feel like the delivery guy around here. Someone's gonna be super excited when they get this. <gasps> Surprise! Oh my gosh, thanks so much, babes. I've always wanted a coffee maker. <laughs> Oh my god. So sweet. As if I ordered it. I ordered this. But, but you're delivering it to me. Thank I'm you delivering so much, it to I'm, you. I'm I'm happy. Even though I was telling you how white my teeth are after not drinking. Coffee. Yeah, this morning this morning he wakes up and he's like, You notice how whiter my teeth are staying because I'm not drinking coffee? Well, 
since being home in quarantine, he hasn't been drinking a lot of coffee because all the coffee has been at work. Yeah. He kind of tucked away the Keurig for a while. We did. Yeah. We did. <laughs> we, I kept telling him, buy, co buy a coffee, buy like the refills. And he didn't want to because I guess at work they have coffee. You know, he lives at work now. <laughs> no, so, I don't. So anyways, he was drinking the coffee there and so and he wasn't really drinking the coffee here But now that he's in quarantine, he's realizing he's missing coffee. So what's the problem? You can't pull your your pants up to your knees. What's the problem? She wants shorts oh, Okay Toddler life the struggle. Okay. What are you trying to do? I don't even understand. Okay. Look do you want me to pull them up for you? They just won't stay, huh? Okay Oh my. Guys, ignore our rough looking floors. This is that place that we want to do that big renovation. Hopefully this coming year. Yeah. Not, what is it, 2021? 2021. Yeah. We have to wait for mortgage renewal to take care of that project because it is a pricey one. We got a quote for just upstairs here. Where? This living room area. And we live here in quarantine times. It's a struggle to keep this place uh, clean, but it's like basically like a two second cleanup. But this floor right here, the kitchen area, and I don't even think we got a quote for over here, right? Uh, no, we didn't get a quote yeah, for. Yeah, we got a quote for the whole, for, for the there whole too? place for, for a tile and, and hardwood. Oh, got a quote for tile in the kitchen, and I think tile that goes all the way throughout here, and then the hardwood over in those areas, and it's like. Eleven thousand dollars. Ah, oh, so we we kind of have to wait on that a little bit. Is that you said? I wish I had eleven thousand, but I don't. Oh, because we all have eleven thousand dollars lying around, especially during a quarantine, Aaron. Especially during my quarantine. <laughs> hey. Yeah. I'd love to have eleven thousand dollars lying around during the quarantine. So anyways guys, I just finished making my bed. I don't think I've officially showed you guys the bed. Um, I told you we got a king size bed and you saw the bed that we had before. So we went ahead and we set it up and this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful sleigh bed. Our pillows are still queen for the queen size bed. So we, we don't, even though the pillow sizes, even though the pillowcases are king, um, yeah, we haven't switched it up, but during a time of quarantine, honestly, it's a time to really buy things that you need, the essentials, and kind of ward off from buying things that you want. I need to go eat breakfast because, like I said, I've been feeling nauseous. My nausea comes in waves, and I think it's really just, in the mornings, it's really just before I have anything in my stomach type of nausea. It's not like severe or anything. It's something that I definitely can handle. And if it does come in, I think like I have something at hand. I have those um, chewable <laughs> things that I used last time when I was pregnant. Um, what are they called? Gingins? Someone recommended those. I think a viewer, or like a subscriber recommended those and they were like the best thing for me for sure. The ginger just really kind of helped kick the nausea away. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with. I do have a bunch of symptoms I didn't mention to you guys. Um, just touching, just quick touching base on like my pregnancy and how I have been feeling overall. I have been feeling pretty good. I, I am f over five weeks now, but I don't know exactly how much. I do have my appointment with the doctor this evening, but it's going to be at the end of it. It's going to be the, in the next vlog, so you guys will get to see that. Um, but... I don't I as far as I know just calculating things because I tracked things so and if you weren't following my journey my journey is posted on my personal channel Sarah Latouche so because I do track things I have like a very good idea as to when I conceived it not the exact dates it could be to, give or take two days to three days off but I had like a general ballpark idea beginning I was experiencing symptoms of like 
frequent urination that's like the big given one for me just constantly feeling like i gotta go every time i drink something i needed to go pee i've had um tatas they have been aching here and there and that's like a first sign i think for a lot of women like having your breast your breasts ache the aches they came and they went so it's not something that's super constant but it's definitely kicked in here and there feeling exa extremely tired oh my goodness and then the worst part is is the restlessness like not being able to wake up not being able to sleep in i mean because of this whole quarantine thing i've been going to bed a little bit later but then i'm not getting enough sleep because i wake up so early i'm trying to resolve that issue um i feel like i'm already super forgetful i don't know if that's like a pregnancy brain thing and if that really does occur early but that is another thing and yeah just those kind of things that i've been oh the blow complete extremely i've been feeling extremely bloated and gassy tmi and it's not just a matter of what you eat it's just a thing so um yeah those are like the symptoms that i've been experiencing and that's me in early i'm like six weeks um or not six weeks i'm pretty close to six weeks so that is where i am at um i will definitely be doing a better job of documenting my pen my pregnancy journey and experience in the vlogs this time around because last time i was just like oh i don't want to like overwhelm them or or share my experience but i realized like that's a part of it like why cop out on not sharing a certain part certain aspect of my journey like it's my you know it's my channel i definitely should be sharing the things that i enjoy sharing as well as the things that i know you guys enjoy watching <laughs> So I will definitely be doing that.